Hello, ladies and gentlemen, viewers from around the world. Today, we have some varsity Overwatch. Today, we're playing against Ben Davis University High School, who finished second last last split during the fall, and we finished third, so it should be close. Last time we played him, it was not close. It was 3-0, so hopefully we can do better this time. Today, in the booth, I have a very special guest. Shrek for life. Shrek for life is uh, going to be running soldier here on this map. And as you can see, he's being pummeled by Wrecking Ball, aka Matt. You're going to get to know Matt very well. Um, let's describe Matt's character. Wrecking Ball wrecks. He causes havoc. He's simply for babies. It's playing with a loser. Uh, Shrek believes he's a complete loser due to the fact he's playing Wrecking Ball, which is kind of interesting because Shrek is using someone that takes zero skill. I mean, Wrecking Ball takes zero skill, he rolls around, so he just bumps people. For those not familiar with Overwatch, this is this is Control, so in Control, you have to pick the point that we're currently in, and whichever team gets to 100% first gets the point, and whoever gets to points. And you have to win three maps out of time. You can see Shrek putting some good bullets down the range. And we, uh, we take a nice... Nice lead to start start off the event. Just a really great team fight. It is a good team fight. You'll see Sombra on the right. Sombra is basically invisible, which is kind of a crazy ability, really. And she's able to hack people, which yeah, makes she just destroys me with Wrecking Ball right there. Which makes people. For reference, I'm Shrek and this is Shrek for life, so if we talk in third person, we don't apologize. Sure. <laughs> we got Matt, once again, just being really annoying. Get a nice little sleep with the hands of you. So, for those on the we have Shadow in front of Matt, and now Ana has a Yeah, basically. One and all from Cold Dolphin. Cold Dolphin and Shrek for Life combined to kill every single one of them and get us the point back. Really just a DPS diff. That was a DPS diff there. Back to Ana, who Shadow is using. She has a sleep dart, basically, and that dart hits. The other people go to sleep and they can't do anything for several seconds. And then her other ability is the grenade, which heals her teammates and also prevents the other players, the enemies, from being healed. You can see Sombra once again going for the hack play on Shrek. Really, we're, we're, we're kind of playing out there trying to keep the place. It's absolutely melted after Sombra pops her ult. What her ult does is really just disables your ability. And if you're using your ultimate ability, you no longer have Cold Dolphin is being chased by the entire other team. He's able to get Sombra, which is a good trade. He gets a nice teleport there, but somehow dies before he can TP, so he just dies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now we're going to try to group up here and push other teams back into the point. We know we only need to take the point one more time and get the win, so we're not really rushing it too much, but we've got a lot of people out there doing that right there. Now, let's just go ahead and describe it. This kid has a thousand six hundred hours. Matt plays the game. Plays the game. Plays the game. Good. Okay. Just another DPS diff right there. Cold My cold dolphin. Shrek me. Alive. Look at that melt. Matt just got absolutely melted, and Shrek finishes him. I mean, that's the only way to say it. He finished him. A thousand six hundred hours for what? That is true. We are going to take this point here. We gotta play some lockdown defense here right at the end. We got Sombra jumping on the point. Shadow and Talon Swarm just instantly. Now we have to get to the point where they're just going to go hop on and on and just be wrong. That is what's happening. They kind of multiple times there just to try to stay alive. Just great a great ult. ult because it stops. What his ult does really is anybody in his range it's stopped. They are stuck in a little circle and 
that completely nerfs Maul because he needs storm. to be able to roll around. Silent Storm is our tank. Basically, the tanks damage area. It yeah. does a lot of damage up close. It's a great ult to end the round, and we're up 1-0 on the map. Only needs one more round to win the first game. And we're feeling pretty confident after this one. We kind of just rolled them. True. No pun intended. Now, what you need for Ball, really? This kid, Matt's Ball was really excellent. It's just he had no DPSs. Your main objective as Ball is to be annoying so your DPSs can get picks on the healers. And once the healers are gone, that's when you can just fry the tank. That's true. So right here in this map, we got the control, which is like right below us in that building, but a lot of the fighting is going to be actually outside the building. So you'll, you'll see a lot of fighting right outside here in this left building and out in the building. That right building is where you're going to be. We our first team fight. This was an interesting We kill Matt. I mean, we, we win. We win. You, you're going to see later on how important Matt is. Yeah, Matt is just the entire team basically. So we capture the point first, take the first few points, and our confidence is definitely building right now. Cold, cold dolphin trying to make a little sneaky play. Nice boot here on Sunday, I think, but Sunday you can throw it on the cave and get back. Can I get the boot? Nice relocation. Sunday, the one who Ray all gets three. Try crouching Luke. Just like that, that's a team kill. That's a team kill right there. Just another huge ult from Cold Dolphin. His ult don't miss. Let's see if we can get some good shadow gameplay here. That's gonna be hard to do. <laughs> Shrek is uh, not the biggest fan of shadow in this game on a gameplay. Someone said you can get shadow kill for an awesome reason. And all that Shrek going to that play right there because he just wants to explain what just happened there. So, he doesn't use his character for that right there. Really? He can get out of that situation very simple and call us over. So defeat there from Shrek, by the way, is what we call that. That's a great ult use. Just really his beat just stops and that's all. Now here's what I'm going to say. Anna, as Shrek described his abilities, has a sleep dart. And what he did there, he used his grenade. Great destruction for Silent Storm. Really huge. He used his grenade instead of sleep dart. If he sleep dart, he puts fall fall in sleep. But instead, he tries to go for damage when he's a support on him. Some don't know why he would ever do that. Fry. Just the DPS is just really perfect. That's an amazing. The nano comes in. Wasted somber all. That's a roll. We rolled them in the first game. We're up one. Zero percent on the second map. Now, our ego going into this is huge. Except for there's one fact. Before this game took place, they took about a four minute break. They did take a long break. Now some would say Matt could have put on hacks after you watched Wait, this map. Matt did put on hacks. Cause his just game his Arisa gameplay is elite. There's no other way to put it. I mean it's almost like he has sixteen hundred hours. Some would say. So this game mode is payload, so they the offense, which is the red team here, is gonna have to push that payload right there on the screen all the way to the end. And you have a certain amount of time to do that. Now what we're playing here is Pope. And 
why, and the reason why we're playing Pillar, it's for long distance. And so we want to play a long distance in a ranged meta on a ranged map. So defensively, there's going to be a lot of high ground opportunities. Gold Dolphin going Widowmaker and also having Shadow as on. Basically, we just have a bunch of hit scans as much as we can to try to get. Just building up points. Now, it really sucks, you see, as Cold Dolphin, all is useless. It's just wolves. Cold Dolphin's all is definitely not You're going to see that play from them very many times. And what they did was a nano, which boosts your damage, your health, and he also popped his ult, and he let it charge for a while. The longer he charges his ult, the more damage he's gonna do. So basically what you'll see at the top, top right of your screen is Matt and Luke, and that's the two ults that you want to look at when we're talking about. Luke. I mean, that's just a disgusting angle from Gold Dolphin. Yeah, it's just a disgusting angle. Not really able to get any from it, but Really sucks he can't get the headshot on the bottom shot. Oh, never mind, as he just destroys Luke. But you'll learn as this uh, series goes on that we'll have to learn what we're gonna have to do. Focus, Focus Mercy. She can, she does, and the amount of damage and heal she does is absurd. So you'll see this Mercy pocket. You guys see a great usage of ult here from Sons. That's just an amazing ult. Puts all four of them in the air. Cold Dolphin gets two good snipes here. He gets a snipe on Junkrat and right there on Mercy. Shrek for life gets the kill on Mercy. Shrek for life. Officially gets the kill credit, but it's a combined effort. Team yes, effort. it was. We'll see Shrek here do a lot of good damage. It really yeah, sucks. So we, wanted to we wanted to kind of push up and get Matt out because it was kind of like a body. Unfortunately, Matt gets a good deal there. Shrek unable to do anything. Shrek gets absolutely destroyed off the wall by Matt. This is a bad situation. Matt gets a very good deal. So the javelin cancels pretty much the ability. That rock would have been huge. So basically Matt's just going to get in his face. So we'll just use nano on Matt. Now Matt's damage. And he's just going to absolutely fry us. He's currently frying us. Shrek is trying to escape Matt's wrath. And is able, kind of able to. Now Matt, he has a great usage of the jab. Also, you can see up top the progress bar. Every time they reach one of those diamonds, Matt is I wonder why Shadow's not using right there. Shadow. Going yeah. for the damage instead of the heals. I will say, Shrek was critical right next to Shadow, but you know, lack of comms, maybe Shadow wasn't aware that Shrek was critical right next to him. It's very, very possible. I don't know though, because it does show your teammates at critical health. I know it's playing on. Might have been out of the field of view. Very possible. Doesn't matter, we have. Very proud. If only we would play more. We about play on Tuesday. And just the comp has been in this game for some of us. Tough grind trying to get to master. 
comp. The way they do comp is horrible. They did change it though. I believe no, four, four, it's going to change. Still I five and fifty. Change it say. Instead of giving you points based on the Now, what? Let's talk about Silent Storm Tank here. Okay. Maui. That's not his name, but we call him Maui because that's Maui on Roids. And what he does is he has an ability that gives him infinite ammo and health. Oh my god, he just. What, a, what an all usage by Moon. He's done absolutely nothing until then. Just phrases everybody with them in a certain circle. Now her abilities suck, her aim sucks, but I will say her ult was usage was very good. The ult usage was not bad. But some could say it's because of um Orissa's grab. Orissa's grab plus that ult is a deadly combo. So now we're on offense and we can't win on this. We but, can only tie. But we can push it to overtime and we have to push the payload all the way to the end just like they did. And you'll see, one thing we'll focus on is the amount of time left because depending on how much time you have left in this round is how much time you get in the next round. So we're really trying to push to give ourselves as much time in overtime. Yeah, Silent Storm switching up to D.Va and you'll see that D.Va is someone who basically blocks the bullets from the other team. So it should help our players get more damage output onto their team. We see Matt once again going Arissa. I mean, it's no shocker. We just worked very well. So, yeah. But this is defense, and we saw Matt pushing up as Arissa offensively, so we'll see how Matt, Matt does defensively. Five, four, yeah. Three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Stop the pain. So we'll start here for all. Just that was a good trade, but unfortunately, Mercy using her ability. To <laughs> It's just hard to hit flying characters. It is difficult to reach Mercy. They did a great job of protecting Mercy, I'll say. Let's do some May Walls. Not really the greatest May Walls, but it comes with the picture. One thing I'd like to mention here. We are very promising coming up, as this being our first year, while Ben Davis has been doing this for a while. We've had more time. Now, with what? J there you see the all and then just how broken it is. Basically, Matt just team killed our entire team. Because he's the it. only one. Yep. And you've seen Silent Storm use his ult. Now, what his ult does, it's a big bomb, and if you're in the vicinity, you're dead. That's true. But. But what he should have done there, <laughs> and he will do in the future is go up because um, if the bomb will fall down and if you're in the rain and there's not very many buildings this map has more buildings than, than most and there's still no I mean, Silent Storm just gets out to the real the entire team. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way to say it. It's, he's getting real in the form. Unfortunately, we had a misclick by Shadow there. Shadow. On the ult. Accidentally uses his ult. That will not be the first time we see this. Yeah, I was just... 
does like to point out some errors by Shadow and his alt usage. Which Shark has some bad alt usage. Everybody has bad alt usage. Some yeah, here's what I'm I'm gonna some would say this is a bad alt usage, but in my eyes it's not. I think it's a good Shrek gets a good job right there. And then I kill Matt. Forces May out for her ice form. Kills Matt. Love to know how he doesn't die. Now here we're very stressful. That's true, we are. We are stressed because we have to get this first point in 35 seconds, so if we lose a team fight, we can just lose this skin. And we're already pressed for time because we want to get as time as possible. Great beat, great anti. And then unfortunately, here comes another horrible. And the, but Cold Dolphin with a great usage just takes out three. both healers. 1v3 is in the back field, up there on the hill. Area 1v3 for Cold Dolphin. So and back, then he comes back to get the point. Teammate. Just really gets the point for us there. Pretty much just slowly the entire other team. So let's say. Runs through May. Now we're going to see him just jump on and kind of feed our ults. Which, I mean, it's overtime you want to prevent us from getting it, but you're kind of just throwing yourselves at us one by one. Just feeding our ults, you're never gonna have team fight on a five minutes or cold ult. That's just because you have the most broken ult. Pretty good. Fits the place out. It really does. Matt with a slightly premature ult. Kinda popped up a little too early, so we didn't get as much. I mean, Shadow ults me for some reason. Once again, just a battle. You know, he usage. saved me. Shadow saved me with a good hand out. Keeps me alive. You were already full health, Shrike. I, I was not full health. I was very low, actually. But you self here. That is true. I agree. Now we ask him, what made him use this alt, alt usage? I believe it was a misclick. No, it wasn't, actually. Oh, it wasn't? It was in a use to save me because I was half health. So he was trying to damage me and boost him. Make sure he's dead. And you're going to blame him for that. Here's what I'm going to say. Great. That is a great anti heal. His anti heals were on point. That's what I'll say. He you, he does have a great anti. -heal. Right here we get. Okay, let's get cold, cold on this. First he goes for the right hand. gets it, but we get everybody else. So then that's stuck. Just unfortunate for Shadow, just dying to the diva getting back in her bomb. That might be like the worst way to die. Cause like she just used it. Just a great way, just great for my support. Well, from Shrike. Yeah, Shrike's there. No, he was there. He just got slammed. Okay. <laughs> physically slammed. Now, some would say this is a bad ult for me. But what it did was it took away the healers. And we just, once again, roll Matt because he has no healers. You're going to see that's a big part. It's really focusing the healers. And then once again trying to do the one person stacks on. It just really hasn't worked for him and they continue to do it, which is an interesting strategy. So we got two minutes to get to this final, final point where we're going to push it to overtime. See Shrek up top here trying to dust the beam. Also note that Matt switched off of Arissa onto Zarya. Now what Zarya does is she uses a bubble around her. Basically when she has a bubble around her, the more damage we do to that bubble, the more damage she does. So we don't want to shoot her when the bubble's on. Die, die, die. Shrek and Cold Dolphin to get both their healers out. Cold Dolphin to die, but Matt's right going to Shrek's just going to be with good patience with the bubble around Beams, Matt. Beams, junk right now. Absolutely destroys Matt. Great pull.
unfortunately, due to some technical and file corruption, we uh, had to piece this middle section together. And so Shrek will be rejoining us game five. He'll be very excited. Um, but for now, you will be without Shrek for a slight amount of, amount of time. And he just made a great play, too, which is really unfortunate for him because he doesn't get to voice his excitement. Cold Dolphin gets nanoed. Uh, this is kind of the last team fight. We have to win in order to push his OT. Cold Dolphin gets a nice little 2v1 in the backfield, and that leaves everyone in a great spot to clear them out. And that's exactly what we do. I will say, prepare yourself. After game four, Shrek makes a very interesting uh, little piece of gameplay. I mean, he goes crazy. He thinks he's the greatest player that's ever touched the game. And he's going to immediately talk crap game five, not knowing that I'm also going to uh, talk crap as well. I'm not really sure why he's going crazy as if he did anything. I mean, his ultimate, he literally just clicks a button and shoots. All he has to do is shoot, and everybody on the screen just dies. So, he's talking crap about Shadow, but not really sure why. Nobody knows why, basically. No offense, Shrek. No offense, Shadow. No offense, anybody. We played very well. We have, we played very well today. This is a team we lost 3-0 to, and we should keep our heads very high. I apologize if the quality of this outputage is not amazing. Uh, we had some, we had multiple difficulties in the filming and application of audio and file transferage. Uh, but we do our best. And shout out to the entire Union City Esports program because they have been having a great year so far. Basically, if you die, we just lose offensively, so we just kind of want to bump motion and get as much distance as we possibly can in the very limited amount of time that we have. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock! Here we are, we had Silent Storm switch to Ramatra to kind of get some more up close advantage. Um, Ramatra has the form, basically he throws punches, he gets like an extra health, and gets a little bit of a, uh, mobility and speed um, increase. So Cold Dolphin does a, does a very good job of pushing them back here. They set out the May Wall, which really doesn't really do anything, just kind of lets us group up and let our Lucio, which is me, heal. We're just cranking heals on high, we're, we're, we're really just making sure everyone survives. Of course, sports DPSs are literally only focused on focusing Matt and kind of their their healers to try to win the team fight. Silent Storm's trap over there, but we get good heals on him and he's able to get out of it. Right there, Mercy was absolute one. Uh, if we were ever, and that's really going to be what costs us this. We get a nice boot, we get a nice little beat drop from me because I heard the, the Junkrat all pop. Uh, so that basically just cancels out his cold dolphin just got set and freaking slept on the edge of the map. Silent Storm gets a nice kill, but as you can see, Mercy's going to get a revive. Stuck in a 5v2 now, and I'm going to pop the ults, and that's going to end our offensive round in this overtime. So defensively, we have to prevent them from getting that far, but they have an extra minute, so that makes it very difficult. So defensively, we kind of just got ran through uh, pretty quickly, so our confidence certainly isn't high, but we did just have a good offensive push, and then we were able to get a, a decent bit in a minute. So, I mean, we're kind of kind of feeling like we have a chance, but... Uh, Matt might, Matt and Ben Davis might prove otherwise, we'll see. <sighs> Friendly reminder, make sure you're drinking proper amounts of water. So they're going to be running Orissa Matt, which we've seen plenty of because Matt is very good as Orissa. I switched to Mora off of Lucio because a lot of reason why I use Lucio, and especially in these res like these major respawn modes, is because I want to get our players back onto the point as quickly as possible, and that's kind of what the speed boost is for. And then healing-wise, uh, kind of promotes you know staying as a team in a group, kind of get that idle healing. But more, I can get quicker heals, so I can pr 
you know, like, prevent people from dying a little bit easier. Because at this point, if we, if any of us die, it's just over. Because we don't have enough time to respawn and get back. We're, our whole team's going to get dove immediately as soon as one of us dies. So, I mean, we're pretty much only focused on not dying here. But, unfortunately, Shadow got hit pretty hard by May. And, unfortunately, dies and Shrek was up with him. So, he's left completely alone. So, he dies. Cold Dolphin gets a nice kill on uh, Junkrat, however. They have the Mercy, and all Mercy does is res all the entire game, so they really did nothing, unfortunately. We get Matt absolute one here. Uh, that really could have definitely turned the tide, definitely, if we could have got that kill because Mercy just revived, so she wouldn't have a revive for a little while. Silent Swarm gets, I mean, absolutely destroyed by the entire team, just completely railed. And pretty much we just lost the game right there because we have no tank and unfortunately we were not able to get Matt out or the Mercy. Um, I try to hide here and I don't honestly think they even know where I was at but Arissa popped popped all and I just got absolutely clapped. So we're going on a push and as Shrek made the point earlier, un unfortunately uh, his voice will not be heard in this. I'll just say it for him. This is going to be one of the fastest games of Overwatch you'll ever, ever see. Easily. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it quite yet on which side it goes. But it's 1-1 right now, and this is pretty crucial uh, to give one of the teams a 2-1 edge. We kind of try to counterpick uh, Silent Storm with Arissa and Shadow switched up to Kiriko. Try to get some more healage. Uh, I went back to Lucio because, you know, we wanted more speed boost and kind of just more mobility around on this push game mode. Lots of walls and stuff to move around on. Matt somehow gets a kill on Shrek. Now we're not really sure where Shrek is. I mean, he might be talking crap, you know, earlier and after this, but he's absolutely garbage. I don't know why he's talking. <laughs> May gets the kill on Cold Dolphin. You can see Cold Dolphin switched up to Cassidy, which he usually runs Reaper, but we want more his scan to try to get rid of Mercy. So basically their team's just pushing up, and what you're about to see is absolute clamps. Um, not defensively, really, more offensively, they're just clamping us to our spawn. Uh, Matt's got the damage pocket, as you can see, from Mercy, and he just raining bullets into us and we're kind of just incapable of moving out of our spawn. Uh, we kind of try but kind of get pushed back because of Junkrat's explosives and basically their Arresta pops all, kills our tank which forces the rest of the team to back up. Shrek just, I mean, he just ego trials Arresta for some reason here. I mean, I try to get in here and heal him because he's weak and he just gets, I mean, basically Three tapped right in the dome and dies. Instead of moving back with his team, he questionably decides to take the challenge and gets crapped on. He probably was rage quitting or, I mean, just didn't care about the result of this game or something. I don't know. Maybe he was eating Doritos or something. Who knows? I can see they are pushing. You can see in the on the top right there, they're pushing the robot very quickly um, and very dominantly as we only have seven meters to their 77. So it's really not close. Shadow and Silence Storm both fall. Cold Dolphin gets a nice kill on Luke. As we said earlier, Luke is definitely their better support, but when you have a Mercy, it kind of doesn't take him much shield. It's just pocketing and getting reses. As we see there, Mercy just revived. See, we're kind of... Trying to stonewall them and we're making our last attempt at uh, stopping them. As you see, it all it kills three. Leave Silence to him in like a 3v1. And uh, I mean, he is pretty much just dead. Unless, unless, hold on, no, nope, he's dead. He's just dead. Cold Dolphin died somehow, I don't even know. I mean, he died so fast that we didn't even get to see him die, honestly. Shadow's by himself out here, 5v1. Decent May wall, but Shadow gets the TP through it. Good good teleport from Shadow right there. Good job, Shadow, you're insane. Cold Dolphin kind of sacrificed himself to try to test the point, but the Junkrat all kills both healers. 
Shrek and Silent Storm both pop it all. Get three with it, which is pretty nice, but Silent Storm was weak as well as, well as Shrek who killed himself. I mean, that's questionable. He literally just killed himself. I mean, we're going to have to ask him what the heck just happened. Even though I already know what happened, he definitely used his missiles on Arissa up close and it didn't kill Arissa, so it killed him. And Shrek talked a lot of crap this game, specifically this game 4, so it's unfortunate that you're not going to be able to listen to him. But you'll hear his voice very soon in game 5 after this. Is this game 4 or game 5? I don't remember. This is game 4. So you'll you'll hear Shrek after this game. So this this mode is hybrid, so you got to basically offensively, their offense, they have to capture a point and then escort the payload, so kind of a mixture of our first two game modes. Uh, I switched to Mora because I wanted to try to get some more damage in their like kind of in their backfield on Mercy and all that. Mercy kind of leaks forward and we just absolutely roll her instantly. You can see we're kind of taking these small team fights, these small two on ones. You can see Matt's kind of getting 2v1 down there at the bottom. Um, and we're pushing the rest of the team away from Matt to try to ISO him out and we do and we get the kill on Matt which pretty much gets their entire team uh, incapable of doing anything because Matt's their only good player. We're getting a little aggressive here. We're kind of trying to play in their face, but not like so much in their spawn that we're over committing. Let's run Shrike here. Shrike gets I mean, Javelin in the face, but doesn't really do anything. This is honestly good. I mean, we call him Maui. I don't even know his actual name. Silent Storm has good Maui gameplay. Um, I'm just trying to get out of there. I'm calling out to Shrek in real life during this game. Step back, step back so I can heal you. So that's great comms right there. We see Cold Dolphin weak. Comes back to us nicely. Gets his heals. It's a decent one from Orissa, but me and Silent Storm get out. I pop my ult to try to save Shadow there, unfortunately. Not able to do that. But I do get to save on Cold Dolphin and get a lot of damage on Orissa. And Shadow, or sorry, Silent Storm is able to get the finish. We get a lot of damage on May, which requires her to get back to the spawn. And basically what's happening right now is they're getting absolutely clamped. Seat belt, strapped. Um, I mean, this is, this is absolute cookies right now. They got two minutes left to get the objective, which they haven't even seen yet. I mean, they haven't even touched it at all, not for a single millisecond. Shrek up top, beaming kids. Probably going to get a May wall here from Moon, if I had to guess. And there it is. Kind of just tries to stop Shrek. He still does a little bit of damage, but drops back to his team nicely. Town Storm's absolute one tap on the left, but we're able to get his health back up. Good heals from Shadow and Shrek right there. Shrek putting solid damage down range. So we have multiple ops on it, or alts on our team. <laughs> Did I just say ops? I and mean we have ops on our team. Shrek and Shadow are ops. Sounds Storm with a nice alt, which opens up Cold Dolphin's alt. And that gets Matt and Mercy because they're both restrained inside that. So there's nothing they can do to dodge that Junkrat alt. And we're just yelling at Shrek right now to get back because he, for some reason, I mean, he's just in their spawn trying to get kills. I don't know what Bro is doing. Bro is not him. I don't know why he's trying to, like, 4v1 right there. We're just holding this position. A lot of incoming damage, but we're able to, we're able to heal Silent Storm nicely. They have four alts to our two, so we're, like, kind of worried about really. There's an Arisa ult, and that kind of is absolutely nothing. There's a Junkrat. They just put Junkrat and Maze ult just on Shrek for life, so he's definitely tilted that he just got double solo ulted. Uh, so basically I ulted back to try to get Silent Storm healed and try to get some damage on them. So they counterpicked with their more. I'm not really sure why they didn't run more the entire game. So now it's a 3v4 on point. 3 out of 5 actually, but I get a nice teleport behind them, get both DPS's out. Me and Silent Storm are going off right now. I teleport out to stay safe. Shrek pops his ult, gets Mora, gets Ana, and then we all kind of finish Matt there, pause. And so that's really a good ult from Shrek, I will have to say. I mean, it's pretty easy because he just sat up top and held down his right click because for some reason Bro switched his click just for this game. Bro thinks he's him, Bro thinks he's Bro. And with no seconds left, they just have to dive forward. They just feed our stats. I mean, we're stat padding at this point. And that is absolute clamps. Just complete clamps in every single way. Now, um, offensively, all we have to do is, literally, they, as you can see, they got 0.0%. So all we have to do is take 
I mean the first, not even the first objective, a, a third of the first objective, which is literally like three seconds. So as soon as we get one team fight, we win. So we're we're trying to bum rush them, but not really because we're we're gonna be patient until we get one kill. Then as soon as we get one kill, we're just all going in. Not sure if we shout this out yet, but I'm gonna shout out again. Let's uh, give a shout out to Kiss Communications on YouTube, and make sure you follow Kiss TV on like all the Facebooks and the YouTubes and all of that. Check out their live streams. Shout out to Daddy Diesel and Meet Four Hammer. Uh, if you haven't subbed to their YouTube channel, do that immediately and watch their 40-piece McNugget challenge. And I believe they ran a 1v1 in basketball challenge. Uh, so watch those. Um, I don't know if I really have any more other shout-outs really right now. I don't think I do. Shout-out sponsors, Vivocity Tech and AG Parts World Worldwide. We absolutely appreciate your support. You can see Cold Dolphin going far out here. So far, uh, we, we went far because we believe that they weren't going to do any hit scans because we knew they were running junk. Uh, they did run Bastion, which is not great for far. However, how the map is formed with like the buildings in the overhang, Bastion really didn't have much of an angle on Cold Dolphin because um, Bastion kind of just stayed right below that overhang, so you can't really get Cold Dolphin from that angle. I mean, Shrek just continues to get crapped on that map all day long. It's actually insane. Silent Storm putting good damage out. Obviously, the closer Silent Storm is, the exponentially larger damage they're gonna he's gonna put out. I mean, he's getting beamed, but we're getting good heals. As you can see, Bastion is being damage pocketed, and he's in turret mode. And Blake Curry, aka Shrek for Life, would use some language to describe that that is not appropriate for this this video. So I will not say it. And right there, you saw we got the original pick on Ana. So we just completely bum rush, we get Mercy out. And right there, I mean, Shrek, holy crap, Shrek is giving us some some crazy action. And this is what makes me upset with Shadow, this where all this talk is coming from. Win or go home, you know what I'm saying? We're in win or go home. You need to perform your best. And that just doesn't happen. Round one, capture. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out and see how Shadow does here. Unfortunately, there's st unfortunately though. <laughs> I played bad at some point. He played good at some point. His Ana isn't bad. What I noticed with Shadow is he gets tunnel vision. He focuses on shooting players, then healing. He really likes to go for damage. I think as Ana. What really Ana is huge for is his anti, which his antis are perfect. I wouldn't change those. What I'd like to see more of those though is just a little bit more antis on for the team. Because what it does is it heals the team. Also, the sleep darts. Like right. you don't see the sleep darts. You don't see his sleep darts are good. He uses the abilities really well. Just sometimes the misclicks and he gets a little too upset at some point. It's all usage is questionable, but we all have a little bit Yes. I mean, Shrek just wants to recognize the person. Another great. A great kill. A great nade from Shadow. His nades are on point. True. I'd say that's where he really excels at. As ability usage, and that's a big part of Overwatch. You're gonna see Shrek try to make a flank. Just beam Luke. And but Shrek doesn't know there's five of them. Just another beam on Mercy, and here we go. Good sleep. Great sleep. Great anti. Great use of abilities. But Silence torn down. But Shrek's kinda very 
but unfortunately we get pushed off the point. We get a nice kill on Mercy, so now we're kind of going to We really have momentum here, is what we think. Unfortunately, momentum goes when we lose our higher. And then Mac Good shot. We just lose ults there. Like that's a good that's a good that's honestly unlucky shot. That's just really twice. unlucky for the whole team. That's honestly a panic ult from from their May. What it just got shot of just to support just because May was. Like I said, Moon's not a good player. Moon's not the greatest player I've ever seen. Their DPSs weren't good. Unfortunately they just had great deals. But that's not gonna stop Union City. Great trap. Now we have three ults. And what we do is we have one of the most broken ults. And we should have ulted already by then. We should have already ulted. And take away sh the two ults we have. By the way, you can see that was absolutely one time. Right yeah. Right and I'll, they, all I have, I panic ult really. But if we killed them. If we killed Matt right there, we would have death. As I tried to focus Mercy with my ult, it's just impossible when you have a diva eating your bullets. So now they're up 1 0 in this final game 5, so basically we have to score both these next rounds. We're, we're absolutely locked in right now. Um, I don't even say, we're not even nervous, we're just locked in. We're just locked in. So basically on this map you're gonna have this high ground. You're gonna have this, this high ground here. We use this high ground really well as a team. Yeah, we've we've had experience on this map uh, in competition before. Five, four, Broadcasted three, a couple of games actually two, on Kiss Communications one, YouTube channel if you can watch that. We've had some good ult usages here on this map, for sure. So we're pretty comfortable with this map. This is just great counter hits kind of really. Silent Storm makes that good read. Right, a great counter now we just do great of holding since we have one healer now. Huge pin. It's unfortunate that Luke. I will say Luke plays a really good arm. Good. His accuracy on his sleeps very well. Like very good. I found him kind of like one of the times. Not very often, honestly. But you know, I could definitely do Good shots from Shadow Run. Pushing him off the point. Just get that point. great way of. Pushing when we have mercy. When we have mercy dead, dead we we're unstoppable. We are unstoppable. It's almost like we have more than him, and that gets things just kind of crazy, really. Let's also talk about how Shrek changed his normal mouse click button from the left click to the right. And every time I get on the computer when Shrek signs in, I am wondering why. My mouse click and my click and right click it's improved Shrek's performance, though. It's our route as a nice control of play. Great, great pen, but just gets nothing. Yeah, we just kind of man in that. Mercy's dead, and we're feeling it. Unfortunately, it's a 2v3. Five. I lost it. And then here I am. I'm playing Ring Around the Rosie Scare for life. Trying to heal Shrek, but I don't realize that. Now they have a point, but we know if we take the point, kind of like one more time, that's pretty much it. Quite like patient, we have all ults, so we're ready to hold Uh -oh. I know 
great pen. Now words. I get trapped here absolutely arcade. This is a great game, but honestly. Silent Storm is absolutely one tap. The shot is just gonna ride right on him. And Mercy goes down. Silent Storm's pins are really well, I will say. Get a couple nice hammer shots and a little fire throws there. I don't know what it's called, but. Fire strike. Yep. Nice little fire strike right on Mercy. Gets the kill. Now, look at the score. This is when we lock in. We are locked. Whoever wins this fight right here wins. wins we have two alts. They have one. Theoretically. We're really express. We're really calling out here. Don't look at the them. look at the heals by by Shrek. For life. As a DPS, he's really making sure. Great usage of the team noticing Max left. Instead of going for the pin, instead of no shooting him, we go for the pin, which really gives so much room for Cold Dolphin to one game use his all. Now I'm going to pop a useless fight, just because. Right there, we'll get the nice run running with this entire match. Move down to this last one. round. Which is nerve wracking. It really is. Ready for battle. We're going with the same line up here. How have you been? Terrible. Look at what I'm like. I'm going to silence switches here. Now. I you're so here, dramatic, honestly. you. He does. We do. We switched her around. So you'll see this controller that we have is pretty much a circle. Oh, kind of hot in the middle. We're going to see on the right side. This is going to play huge for Moon here. This right side here is the high ground that we tried it. Me and. The DPS is trying to take height, and you're gonna see what happens here. Matt, Once again, Matt on Shrek's butt. He wants he wants again. Shrek for life is beaming Matt, but you just have to have mercy. Unfortunately, <sighs> Anna goes down. Matt one shot. Once again. We really, I think the difference between this game and the other game is that we separated the start. That's it. I'm trying to build silence. We went to a MAGA here, which I don't like this pick. I don't like MAGA against Diva because. Diva just shoots a bullet. Right here is a useless hole. Honestly, we're going to have to work with it. Kind of useless. Hold off, get your pick. There we get Mercy Huge. out. So now we're stuck in like a 3v3. I push back, try to I get Matt off of us. I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna do some damage here, but unfortunately. We kind of play around the building well. And Matt has to be able to kind of control the point, but we're contesting. So we haven't let them get the point of strength and not get any percentage. They finally get it. A great just going back to Ryan because he knows he's still on Eva. Yep. Reads that. Great players know when to switch, and that's a great switch. That's a great switch. So, myself and Cold Dolphin kind of just waiting on the, our team to get here.
too low. Can't really risk wasting it on this. We're down 60% to zero, but you know, one momentum win. Great deflection by Unfortunately, Cold Dolph But he gets the huge kill. He gets the trade. But fights. He goes down. Honestly, here's what I'm gonna say. Matt, run the ones. That one. He's just getting heals every time. I, I it's crap. Almost like, it's almost like there's healers in the game that's supposed to heal. It's ridiculous. No, it's not. Shout out for We switched to ROM. Which we switched to. Shadow runs right into the ROM, which is interesting play. We'll say. We'll see how it pays out. That play is costly. Could have costed the game. We'll find out. We're just trying to contest. Strike tries to contest. But five on one point doesn't necessarily get his way. And just like that, the game's over. I want to thank everyone here for watching this. Not and bad. Go Union City. I feel like if we play him again, definitely goes our way. I agree. We could possibly see him in the state, uh, you know, playoff. We will. Run. Shrek says we will. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Shrek, do you have any final comments? I'm sorry, Shadow. I'm just trying to make you a better player. You just want Shadow to be a better player. I just want to see him keep his varsity spot.